guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So this is the <clears throat> Mapex T570 double braced drum throne. Uh, I got this from Long McQuaid. Actually, just picked it up yesterday because I had it on layaway, just in case the sale ended. I wanted to get it on sale, and it's not a major discount for the sale. Uh, normally, this thing sells for $99 Canadian, and it's on for $89 Canadian. But hey, you know what? Ten bucks is still ten bucks, and yeah, I needed a drum throne because, as many of you know, I've gotten back into the whole drumming thing. Except instead of having a drum kit this time, I actually uh, opted out for the Yamaha DTX Multi 12 uh, pad, and of course, it has 12 pads. It can be turned into an actual full drum kit, which I've actually done that because I've added on the kick drum, the hi hat switch. And I'm going to be adding more pieces to it uh, eventually as well because there's a lot of parts. But I needed a drum throne because sitting on a piano bench or even my studio chair, it doesn't give you the right height uh, for one or comfort level. But height is a very important issue. You have to be comfortable sitting in front of your drum kit. This is something I've been learning um, with a lot of research. And if you don't have the right height, um, for proper angles and your feet, legs, and so on, it makes it very hard to control your kit. And uh, so, as such, I figure, well, maybe that's going to help improve my foot because I have a wild foot as it is. Maybe this will calm it down. But at the same time, it's going to save me some space in here, too. And uh, but, all right, well, we'll. Uh, get ourselves a drum throne, but I didn't want a cheapy. I had cheapy drum thrones before and uh, don't really care for them too much. I'm just going to zoom out. Um, they're just not comfortable and uh, that's the big thing. So, I also don't need a super high-end drum throne, but I did need something that definitely has some quality behind it. And I'm just grabbing the pieces here as we go to sort things out. Um, but I need something decent quality at least. And uh, without breaking the bank. So I got this looking on their website. And there were there was another choice just one below this. And it was like, I think it was like $20 cheaper. But I gotta tell you, it's no better than one of those, uh, um, what do you call those, like garage Atari Hero drum kit type things. I had one before and uh, I had gotten a score deal on it for about 15 bucks and thought, all right, well, that's a good deal, isn't it? Well, at the time it wasn't too bad. However, it ain't no real drum throne, that's for sure. And um, it did lack a lot of quality and such. So, anyways, I'm going to set this thing up for you guys too today because. I only found one other video on this particular throne on all of YouTube and uh, the guy honestly didn't even know um, how to adjust this thing right because one of the things he commented on was well, it can slide down on you well yes it will if you don't set it up properly and although there's really no instructions that come with this thing it ain't that hard so there's our base set up now so let's uh, just Reangle our camera. Now, you'll find there's an adjustable collar here. There's also a tightener here. So, on this is also a key, a locking key, so that this can't twist once it's in, right? So, we've got that down. We snug it up there. They do give you a drum key as well. And we'll put this on. Now this will swivel and uh, you can adjust the tension here so if you want it to uh, I guess be snug or something so it can't spin. Yeah, so you can set it so it doesn't spin on you or back it off just like one little turn. Now you can spin and it's also not going to come apart. So you're getting, you can kind of play with that tension area a little bit. And I'm going to set it up to spin. So I want a little bit of free movement here. So you've got two locking systems to stop this thing from sliding down on you. You've got this one here, and then you've got this collar as well. 
And the cut, this collar is nice because if you're taking this uh, with you, um, if you've got the main collar on the on the shaft locked, <coughs> then at least it's a matter of just slide it in, lock it down, you're done. So we snug this up, and this is not going to move on you. It's going to stay. But if you don't tighten up the top collar, yeah, it's going to slide. And that's one thing that I've seen was ignored is not tightening up this collar. And there's our drum key there. So what we want to do is we want to sit generally in front of the kit. So let's shift the camera around and see if I got my heights good on this thing. And then we'll adjust the heights. I'm just going to move the camera here. And of course there's my DTX kit. kind of a distance. Let me just change the angle here for you guys. I think I need to bring this up just a little bit more. I think just a little bit. So do have to change that. So let me show you what we're going to do here. So I'm going to bring the height up probably about an inch. And if you do end up locking this thing, say, sideways, kind of like this, so it's the collar is off centered, um, don't worry about that. Just snug that up, give her a test sit, because you want to be able to still work both pedals at once, right? I think I like that, I think that's, that's comfy for me. Okay, so now we've got that done, and it did slide down a little bit because the lock and collar, so we'll bring that back up. Snug that. And that's why it would move down on you, is because it needs the dual lock. So now that I'm back up to that height, which I thought was good, <laughs> it moved. Snug that up really good. Now we're up. I think I need to go just a touch higher. So we're going to start with the bottom. I'm going to go up the same distance, about an inch. And we're going to run the top collar now. Now this thing goes up to 24 inches of height adjustment total. That's nice and tight. We're all good there. That's all right. Oh, that, that actually feels better to sit. comfy. I like that. That is way better now. Way, way better. So, that's the basics, guys. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. Um, now, as far as the main specs on this thing, it's a 14-inch diameter 
uh, throne seat that's four inches thick. Nice stiff padding too. It's nice. Um, <coughs> durable soft vinyl seat cover. Die cast memory lock. And that's what that collar is about. That upper collar that we use the drum key with. That's your memory lock. So you've got to lock the bottom in place and the top and that creates enough pressure this thing is not going to move on you. All right. <coughs> um, and you do got to remember if you are going to take this apart for transport you don't need to touch your top collar. Once your top collar is set there should never be a need to adjust it again um, unless you felt like you grew up, grew up a little bit more I don't know but <laughs> otherwise you shouldn't have to touch it and keep it locked maybe check it with the drum key once in a while make sure it's still really snug on that bolt and then all you got to do is worry about that bottom one when you uh, lock things back in place um, anyways a steel tube height adjustment tube with collar lock from 16.1 inches to 24.4 inch height range and of course it is double braced legs so if you're a heavy guy don't worry about it the thing's going to hold your weight Right. Um, I don't know what the maximum weight load is, but I weigh 186 pounds currently, um, so I'm not a heavy guy, but I'm not light either. Okay, and um, it more than holds my weight. It's not going to break. So, um, but anyway, so this is this is again this is Mapex. Um, this is the T570 double brace drum throne from Long McQuaid. Now there are many places you can buy these things. I get it. Um, do look in the description below for the link because it is still currently on sale. So if you do live in Canada, Long and McQuaid, it's the place to go. It's where I go for literally 99% of all my gear. Okay, I mean, I kid you not. I have not found better prices. I've not found um, better, well, I can't say that necessarily, but in general, you're not going to find a better price considering um, with Long and McQuaid, you get outstanding warranty service. You also get performance warranties available on most items anyways. Um, and as long as you renew that every year, you're good to rock and roll. And the warranties don't cost that much, but they are geared toward the cost of your item. Um, but And so far, I've never paid more than, what, 40 bucks tops to renew a warranty on anything. Um, so that's pretty decent, even on some really expensive gear that I bought. And, but... Um, yeah, so I think this drum throne is going to really help out quite a bit. Because like I said, you do need to have a proper kind of throne. There are bazillions of choices of thrones. They've got tons of them. If you want something with a backrest, yeah. If you want something that's kind of like a really cushy 1950s seat where you, your legs contour and your butt contours into the seat kind of thing, they got that sort of thing, right? Um, and they've got many different versions of this. And they do have the cheapy, cheapy, garbagey stuff. But... You know, the, some of the chibi chibi stuff for drum thrones is more geared, I think, towards kids because, you know, you're not going to put even a little kid on a drum throne like this even at the bottom because it's going to be too tall for them. Um, you know, so it's kind of like one of those things. Now, I'm going to give you guys a comparison and show you what I have been using and uh, where things can go a little bad on control. And I also have the same seat that I use for teaching guitar students. They get to sit on this thing. Now, this piano bench is at its highest point. It ain't getting any higher. That is an incredibly tall difference between the throne where it sits now, the drum throne, for comfort um, and control, compared to sitting on that little thing, um, is very short. And even one of my students, um, well, she's not as tall as me. She's actually uh, still quite a bit shorter. She's probably about maybe eight inches or so, nine inches shorter than I am. Um, I know when she sits on it, her one foot doesn't sit, well, her feet don't sit flat. Okay, I actually got to lower it for her this week. Um, but, um, you know, sitting for somebody who, like me who's 5'9", sitting at that in front of the drum kit, it's very awkward. Okay, and uh, I'm going to give you a really good example of that. Um, because you're going to actually see the height difference of me sitting at the kit between the two. So, we have our trusty drum throne. Oh, that is so comfy. Okay, so here I'm at a really good height, right? And angle is a very important thing with these percussion kits. You're at the right angle so you don't accidentally trigger stuff you don't want to. 
I could probably change the angle now on this as well, a little bit more tilted the other way, but Okay, so I'm at a really good height here. I'm still very comfy. I can still get my feet flat on the ground, right? And I'm not like right up here. And I still got a lot of height to go yet that I can get this thing higher. So, we'll move that out of the way. This is what I've been kind of stuck with. <laughs> now, I'm like way down here, I'm like. And what I find is my leg is feeling weak. So if you're too short to even a regular drum kit, you're going to feel like your ankle is weak and you know you don't have that ability. And you can end up getting really wild on the kick. And this is a problem I've had. So I started using my studio chair, uh, which is this thing here. And uh, it's either <laughs> still too low or it's too tall at the next height adjustment. So if I take this here, I know this video is getting long, but it's important that you guys know this. So now I'm on the studio chair. This is actually the lowest point. We're not much better than that other seat. So I can adjust the height of this. Let's go up. That's basically two clicks up, I guess. So now it's pretty close. But I don't feel comfortable at all. My legs are getting pinched underneath. I don't like that. You know, and it's kind of like, ah, it's just, it's just not, it doesn't feel right, you know? So if I go down by one, Now, now the weakness starts to slowly kick in in my ankle, and then I'm coming, Argh! and it creates wild kicking. For me, it does. I don't know about you. Um, if you're a drummer, and you probably are if you're watching this video, but if you're not, but if you are a drummer, let me know what you think. Um, you know, do you think a drum throne is actually the ultimate? I personally do, because um, you you have a better comfort um, on even something like this. You know, and now it's fine. And now I can also run my hi hat switch a lot better. And I could probably still tweak this a little bit more if I really wanted to, to go just a tad bit higher, because I think a little bit higher yet. Still might not be a bad thing, you know, because I want to be able to still have power in my kicking, but I need that control. So I might try it a little bit higher uh, just to see, but otherwise I'm going to try it like this for a while, see how it goes. Now, my opinion is the build quality on this thing is, is extremely good. Um, so if you're, you're, asking, you're looking at build quality, which you would be, um, I think the build quality on this drum throne is just really fantastic. Um, it is going to hold quite a bit of weight. Um, like I said, I'm 186. No problems with this thing. Um, I like the fact you can have it set to free swivel. Or if you want to, you can lock the key nice and tight and then the seat doesn't swivel. But I think the swiveling is actually a handy thing. Okay? Um, and that's cool. Um, the included drum key is nice too because if you actually lose a drum key, then, well, now you got a spare, right? Because um, drum keys aren't always cheap, cheap, but, you know, never hurts to have a few spares kicking around either. Um, but uh, for 80, for, what is it, like 80 some dollars here? Uh, we're looking at 89 bucks on sale right now at Long McQuaid. And like I said, you can get these things probably on Amazon, any other music store that carries the Mapex brand. You can get a, my my kick is actually a Mapex, and that thing didn't cost me that much either. And it's a pretty good quality uh, kick. I actually saw this linear kick uh, by Gibbelator. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's like that's kind of really neat. And they got a used one in stock right now. And I'm thinking, mm, 
but I have a kick already. I mean, is this thing going to really help me any? I don't know. Um, you know, because I do still have a little bit of a wild foot, but hopefully this, this particular seat helps control that wild foot problem. Um, we'll know in time. So do look for an update review on this item as well. Who knows when it's going to happen? i got to use it for a while and see how well things go with it, that sort of thing. But for now, I will probably say that, okay, for $100 regular price, it's worth $100, bucks, okay? You know, so if I would have missed the sale, I would have still paid the $100. Uh, $89 bucks is definitely a bonus because that's 10 bucks. I mean, with taxes and everything, it was like $100 and it wasn't even $101 with the tax. Okay, now this is Canadian dollars, keep in mind. Um, the average rating I see on this thing is like a five star rating, but that's only like one review on their website. And I'm kind of like, okay, nothing's perfect, guys. All right, honestly, it ain't. And I can't give this thing a five star no matter what. Um, right now, I am I'm going to sit this thing at, I think, a very reasonable four and a half out of five. Um, I don't see it going up any higher than that um, in the update review down the road. Um, if something happens and it becomes problematic in any way, then it's definitely going to go down. But if I have absolutely no problems with this thing, it stays together, it's not losing my height setting, because I am going to keep an eye on that, because if when we're done this video, I'm going to measure my height that I have on this thing. And, uh, you know, and over time, I'm going to check on the height from time to time and see if it's changed. So, because this is like friction collars, right? But you have two of them you have to make sure are locked up solid, okay? Um, in order for things not to move, right? So that's very important that you do that. And make sure you get that top collar. There's that notch and there's a slot in the bottom. Make sure they're lined up perfectly so that they mesh together right and that you lock them down properly. And then like I said, anytime you're going to use this for portable use, it's only the one that you don't use the key with. Um, it has its own knob. That's the only one you need to worry about uh, as far as disassembly goes. And then of course your top seat if you want to remove the shaft from the top seat for transport, no big deal. Okay, It has its own thingy. So this key only has one bolt it has to control. But it's also a handy key for your drum kit too. So. You know, and this thing does have a little hole drilled through it, so I'm actually going to put it on a string and hang it up somewhere so I don't lose it. Um, but I will let you know in time. So there's where we're at. We're at four and a half out of five. I think it's worth the money, whether it's on sale price or full retail. I think you're getting a lot for your money here, um, and you know it is it is actually really nice and comfy. You know, and just sitting there for a minute or so, you know, it's. I'm not sure if it's a memory foam that's in there, but it comes right back up and it's fine. Uh, but you got nice, comfy four inches thick of padding there, and that's like, and that's a real four inches, right? That's not like board feet four inches. That's like that's a real four inches. That's nice. Um, and this is actually nice and soft, and uh, it's not plasticky feeling. Um, like if you, uh, well, you saw my studio chair in the in the video here, and its covering is more of a plasticky feel, and over time that plastic can actually crack um, and I actually do have one corner that's starting to um, but this I don't foresee any real problems with for a long long time um, if it is going to crack at all that is going to take like forever to to get that to crack but um, it is very soft it feels kind of leathery touch too and it's got some traction to offer you when you're sitting on there you know so it's, you're not going to slide off of it um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do stay tuned for more. Um, I have no idea what I got going on in the next week for videos, but hey, surprise! We'll find out as we go. In the meantime, thank you for watching. If you're not subbed, please do so. Smash the bell for notifications. Do check out the rest of my channel. I cover a wide variety of topics and stuff. So, you know, do check it out. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao!